breaking news Nigerians. IPOB leader Namde Kano replaces illegal state at all Mondays with Economic Empowerment Day. And these have God's people talking. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB Namde Kano, has replaced Monday's cancelled seat at home in the southeast region of Nigeria with a new program he called the Economic Empowerment Day, EED. This was made known on Saturday in a statement by the IPOB Media and Publicity Secretary, Imaba Afo, who said that the new directive by Kano was a further confirmation of the total cancellation of all forms of seat at home in the entire Southeast by the IPOB leader. Powerful stated that the Economic Empowerment Day, EED, could not a day set aside for mass mobilization of beer friends to devote their resources and means towards revising the sharp and unpredicted deadline in the economic, educational, and social needs of our people occasioned by the prolonged seat at home. He explained that during the economic empowerment exercise, people of the Southeast are encouraged to embark on massive deployment of their resources for the empowerment of the educationally disadvantaged and poverty Radioed population of the region. He noted, though education, employment, health service, sense of identity and community, our people, and indeed the eastern region can begin to strive and grow. There is an urgent need to reclaim our lost glory by empowering, by embarking on empowering their friends with the resources they need to live beyond more substances as our people are known globally for hard work, resilience, and great achievements. Also, the implication of the Economic Empowerment Day, EED, is that beer friends are expected to devote significant time to add it to their routine calendar Schedule template strictly and uninterruptedly with a view to making up for the humongous time lost to the activities of misguided enforcers of unsanctioned Monday seat atom order. It is pertinent to use this media to make an important fundamental declaration to the effects. That Onyendo Mazi Namdekano's handwritten letter, which converged this message, cancelling seat at home, to the misguided element, enforcing seat at home in the entire seat, seat southeast, was never written under any duress or influence of any kind. Onyendo is very firm and unshaken, hence, not even certain and its 24 demons of hair, we have the courage to stand in front of him or tell him what to do, talk less of DSS. Anybody questioning the authenticity of the handwritten letter suspending the further Monday seat at home is patently dishonest and not worthy to be called a beer friend. Anybody who claims to know Unyendo Mazin in Amlikano we also know that nobody will be courageous enough to caress him to do anything that will jeopardize the restoration of Biafra. Therefore, enough is enough. It is time you consolidate effort to rebuild our once envied eastern region. Peaceful, accommodating people illustrious and great 
and reclaim your glory among nations. Everything about Mazin Namdekano is good. God bless Mazin Namdekano. And God bless Mazi Simon Ekba. I will continue to love this great man. He never claimed to be prophet. Whatsoever he, he hears from God, he speaks to his people. And it will come to pass. God bless you. May God bless you. Every Monday is dedicated to Namdekano until he is out simple and fat. He is seeking government sympathy, but he won't get it because Namdekano is enemy of Nigerians. They should. Why should he, he will even talk about Biafra? See, it at home must continue until Mazin Namdekano is released or conditionally. We the Southeast want sit at home. Even if he is released, we will continue. <laughs> God bless Namdekano. Sit at home must continue. No, nobody can stop it. Simon Ekba is right. Free Namdekano now. Sit at home has come to stay. Hungry has come to stay. No complaint. Story Mondays. In Southeast, is Mazen Namdekano Day until he is released. The government should allow pride and, re and release Mazen Namdekano. Okay, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. What's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.